you're using a metronome when you practice, there's a really good chance you need to change what you're doing. Just hear me out. To be clear, you really should be using a metronome when you practice. It's, it's usually pretty obvious when somebody doesn't use one and uh, not in a good way. But if you're using it like this or like this, you need to change what you're doing to get the most out of your practice. What it comes down to ultimately is a sense of accountability. It's gonna be the key word, accountability. You have to become accountable for keeping the time and not relying on the metronome to dictate the time for you. This first example would be an inefficient way to practice with the metronome, where the metronome is clicking on beats two and four. Therefore, you're only responsible for one note at a time. This is not the best way to use a metronome. Instead, consider having the metronome click on one beat per measure. With this simple change, you're now responsible for three quarter notes in a row, and that metronome click will then, in turn, assess your time. Instead of you relying on the metronome, it will assess you. But why stop at having the metronome click once per measure? Why don't we make it click once every two measures? In this example, I'm almost entirely responsible for the time. The metronome really becomes a tool to assess where my time feel is in relation to metronomic time. All right, in this example, we're gonna have the metronome click every five quarter notes. So now, as a result, the metronome will click on beat two of the second bar, beat three of the third bar, and beat four of the fourth bar. As a result, I'm gonna to have to be very accurate with my time, not just at the top of the measure, but throughout the measure. So you can try this out with the metronome clicking every five beats, every seven beats, every nine beats. The idea here is to have the metronome click in an uneven fashion. All right, this next example, we'll look at having the metronome click on a subdivision of the triplet. So once again, the metronome will click once per measure, but this time, instead of it clicking on a downbeat, it's going to click on a subdivision of the triplet. So here we're really trying to make the metronome swing. It doesn't have to be on the third subdivision of the triplet. It can also be on the second subdivision of the triplet. And that has a different consequence to how the quarter note feels. That one's a lot harder to do, in my opinion. This idea of having the metronome click less than once per measure is also super useful for playing in up tempos. So check this out. We'll have the metronome click once every four bars. Let's see what happens. So give these ideas a try and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.